As many of you already know, I'm a huge fan of Sure Cuts A Lot software because it just kind of opens up possibilities that certain softwares just don't give you. Uh, and it really helps you take and leverage the full capacity and capabilities of your machine. Now, I personally am more into paper, as you can see here, but one of the most commonly asked questions I receive um, when someone is getting ready to purchase the Shortcuts Lot software is about its rhinestone capabilities and whether or not um, it actually has those capabilities and if they're compatible with other cutting machines. Um, such as the Cricut, Explore, the Maker, even the Brother Scan and Cut. And the answer is yes. And today I wanted to just kind of show you uh, the tip of the iceberg about its capabilities and what you can do with it and how easy it is to use these features um, to create your own rhinestone designs. Let's say, for example, you wanted to do something custom, uh, maybe um, like a, a softball jersey or um, you know like a women's softball jersey, and instead of just using um, HTV, you want to put their names or the, the numbers. Um, you want to use rhinestones instead of you know um, heat transfer vinyl. Um, that is just again the tip of the iceberg. I personally don't do a lot of rhinestone stuff, so. Um, the ideas don't flow like they do when it comes to paper. But needless to say, let's take a look at the Shortcuts A Lot software here. And I'm just gonna do a really quick example um, to show you what you can do with it. So uh, as far as what you can turn into a rhinestone template, um, there's technically no limit. Uh, it's a very cliche saying that the you know, uh, possibilities are endless, but it, it, does, it, it does ring true. So for example, whether it be an SVG file that you find, um, there's a lot of great sources for SVG files. And uh, let's say for example, um, just I'm just gonna start off with a heart, okay? Now pretend that this heart is an SVG file that you found online, or even if it's not an SVG file, uh, it could be a JPEG, a GIF file, a ping file. There's a trace feature where you can take that and trace it to convert it into what's called a vector. A vector is what you see here. By definition, a vector file is a file that you can increase or decrease in size and it won't lose its quality, okay? It's basically a bunch of dots connected with a line. Let's just take a look at this heart. Again, this heart can be a caption. Um, it can be any SVG file that you download from any source. You can bring it into shortcuts a lot. It has an SVG import option here, as you can see. And um, it's very simple actually to convert anything into a rhinestone template. So for example, to do that, you wanna highlight the item that you want to convert into a rhinestone template. And then you're gonna go under, uh, under effects at the top. And it's actually cut off because of how I'm filming this, but under effects, there's a rhinestones option. And in this dialog window that comes up here, you'll see that they actually have pre-programmed in here all of the different stone sizes. Now, uh, most commonly, what you're gonna be using is either an SS6 or an SS10. But of course, there are um, a lot of different stone sizes in here so that you're not just limited to the two most common sizes. So let's just say that I want to take this heart and make it into a rhinestone template using uh, a round um, SS6 style um, rhinestone. So I selected SS6, I selected the round one, I can hit preview, and you'll see what that did there. Uh, at this point, all it did was it created the outline, which is great, you might want that. If you don't, there's a little button here that you can click that says fill shape with stones. And then if you hit preview, you'll notice that it actually fills in the entire shape, okay? So we can just hit okay. Now we don't wanna resize this because if we resize it, then it's gonna, you don't wanna take this and resize the heart now because it's gonna, well actually, look at that. It continues to fill in based on the stone size. So you can actually resize it. Never mind. that's actually a great little feature there. 
Okay, but anyway, let's just bring it back to uh, this size here, that's fine. Now along with shapes, you can accomplish the same exact thing with a font. So going back to my uh, example of maybe making, uh, you know, like a jersey for, um, you know, a, a woman's team, a softball team, a soccer team, whatever it is, volleyball team. Uh, let's say you find a font that you really love. Let me just, this is the font tool here on the left, the little T. I can click here and you can see the little flashing cursor and I'm just going to write Johnson. Okay, and let's just, it's just a common last name, whatever. And again, um, you know, if you're making a jersey, you would obviously measure the jersey to make sure that you have it at the right size. You can see that there's a little grid here that will indicate, you know, how big something is. So you just size it accordingly. And I'm going to make uh, Johnson, and then I'm going to go up to, again, I'm going under effects. You don't see it, but at the top of the menu, is effects and then we're going to go to rhinestone and again i'm going to do ss6 with the round stones preview that and this again just does the outside but i'm going to fill it so i'm going to hit the fill shape with stones button and hit preview what we might need to do is decrease the stone spacing so there we go now if we decrease the stone spacing it will try to um kind of squeeze more in there and you can play around with this until you get the look the desired look there we go now i think that looks pretty good let's go down a little bit more maybe let's go up a little bit more okay so i don't like the n and how that looks but again remember we can take this and we can resize this until it looks right. So the software is doing its best based on the dimensions to fill in as many. There we go. Okay, so at that size it works. You may need to play around with various fonts. Um, some are going to act and behave differently than others. But you know the program, Shortcuts a lot, is just doing its best to um, fill in the shapes based on the values that you provide. I'm going to give you one more example here. Um, you know, you see those, you see those shirts where love is spelled out like this. Well, what we can do is we can make it bigger by dragging it. Okay, I'm going to right click and I'm going to ungroup this so that separates all these so they're individual elements. I'm going to delete the O. I'm going to take these two and move them up just a little bit. Could move them whichever way I need to. And then uh, again, if you have an SVG, or in this case, there's a library that's already built in to the software. You take the word love. And let's say, for example, you wanted to make a shirt that said love like this, but um, you want to cut this out of HTV. And this you want to do as a rhinestone template. So let's highlight the hearts, go under effects, and select rhinestones. I'm going to do SS6. Well, let's, you know what? Let's just do SS10. That's another common one, a round one. Let's preview that. And there you go. You can do the outline if you want, or um, you can fill in the shapes, and we'll preview that. Okay, and let's adjust the stone spacing a little bit just to kind of fill it in a little bit more so you can get more bunched together. There you go. And that looks great. Okay, so now the cool part is is that you're in sure cuts a lot, but you're asking yourself, well, I have a Cricut Maker or an Explore Air or a Brother Scan and Cut. How do I get this in there? Well, um, here's the cool part. So these are all separate layers. What we're going to do is I'm going to go under File. I'm going to Export, and I'm going to call this Rhinestone Templates and save it to my desktop. Now, you'll see here from the dropdown, there's an option to save it as an SVG file. That's what we're going to do. We're going to hit save. And uh, there's also a feature here that optimizes this specifically for Cricut users. So we're going to check the box that says Design Space Compatible and hit OK. So now on my desktop, you'll see here I have my rhinestone template. And I'm going to open up my design space. Here we are. We're going to go to Upload, Upload Image, Browse. 
and let's open up our rhinestone template. Hit save. There it is. And insert. And there we go. Okay, so you'll notice here, we can right click and ungroup this. The heart portion is separate. There's your rhinestone template. The words here are separate. Let me attach that. And by attaching it, it's gonna leave it exactly how it needs to be. When we hit make it, uh, well, we need to change the color on that. Cause you're gonna, you're gonna cut this out of HTV and you're gonna cut this out of your magic flock or whatever flocking material you decide you wanna use. I'm gonna change the color on that so it doesn't put it on the same mat. Hit make it and you can see here, here is your HTV portion. Uh, and then also here is the rhinestone template that you're gonna cut out of your flocking. And then of course, you're gonna use your hot fix transfer tape and apply that to your shirt. So again, the Shirt Cuts A Lot software um, will take any font, any shape, uh, anything at all really that you, can, that you have on the mat here uh, and convert it into a rhinestone template. So one other cool thing too is, uh, for example, I'm just gonna write the word love again and I'm just picking just whatever font comes up. Here's love. I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna ungroup it. And then I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna weld this together and make it all one. Okay, and then we can highlight this and we can, we have to go under, under the setting here. Actually, you know what we can do? We can make this a permanent weld by right clicking, or I'm sorry, by selecting this. Actually, we can make this a permanent weld by selecting everything. All I'm doing is I'm drawing a box around everything to select it all. And then I'm gonna go under path, and you can't see it here, but there's a union option. Okay, and what that does is it unites the whole thing, so it's all one piece. It's kind of like a weld, but it's more permanent. Okay, and that's under path. Uh, you can see this, it's cut off up here, but it's called union. Okay, and that will unite it. So now we can go under effects and choose rhinestone and we'll do an SS6 round and let's fill it and hit preview and there you go. And let's change the stone spacing until it looks good. Okay, and the cool thing is too, is you can actually, now we can take this if you need to, you can really, really modify this, um, you know, as much or as little as you want to. I'm gonna right click on this and break it apart. And then I'm gonna zoom in 500%. You can literally go in and delete individual little sections, or you can right click, copy, and then right click, paste, and add an, uh, add an extra one. So let's say in your design, um, it's not looking, like for example here, in this little section here, let's say you're not happy with how that looks. I'm gonna copy and paste. Well, let me zoom in a little bit. Go 500% and you know, there was a gap here. I'm gonna fill it in. Just gonna do it manually. I'm gonna paste another one. The software is gonna do its best to automatically fill everything in for you, but it's, it's just a computer, it's just an algorithm, and it may not always do the best job. Okay, so let me nudge this down a little bit. You can use the little screen here to nudge in little increments, and you can really, really um, meticulously you know, fill things in. So let me paste another one. There's a little gap there that I don't like, so I'm just gonna drag this right in there. There it is, now it's filled in, okay? And if you wanna add a couple more here, you can, whatever you wanna do. Again, uh, anything that you bring into the software, you can then turn into uh, a rhinestone template. And that is hopefully, that hopefully answers the question that I get all the time about shortcuts a lot and its capabilities when it comes to rhinestones. So if you love the video, please take a moment to visit us on YouTube and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or concerns or are interested in the software and um, you know, would like to see another video pertaining to a specific function, please drop me a line using the contact form on our website. Uh, the website that you can actually purchase 
the software from is SVG Tools. I'll include a link to that. Um, but if you want to contact me, um, visit our website, Dreaming Tree, and just use the contact form and uh, be happy to answer any questions that you have. So thanks again for joining me, and I look forward to crafting with you again. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.